Welcome back to the channel guys. You're watching Josh Doyle. I have a very special episode here for you today. We are going to walk through a project that I just finished, a triplex conversion project in Hamilton, Ontario. I'm, ex I'm super excited to be uh, showing you guys this video today and showing you the end result financially and how it all worked out. So um, if you guys are interested in investing uh, in real estate and it's, you know, are looking to maximize your return on investment, you're gonna wanna watch this video to the end. I'm gonna start by showing you some before and afters of the actual property so you can get some context behind what exactly it took to get to the end result. And then I'm gonna jump into the numbers and show you guys all the uh, all the good stuff that everybody's waiting to see. So um, let's jump right into it, guys. Before we start, please do me a favor, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It helps me, uh, supports my channel, and allows me to keep putting out these videos to you guys. So please do that. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna shrink myself and throw myself down into the corner. And I've got a little video here that I took. Um, it's four minutes long, but I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. I'll, I'll skip through it, but basically, what you're looking at here, guys, is a single family home in Hamilton, Ontario, um, roughly 1,800 square feet. It's a century home, so this property was built in the early 1900s, um, all the original, guys. Like, there was some, some renovations over time, but for the most part, this was just, I had to gut it right back to the, the brick walls. As you can see, I ripped everything out back to the original wood studs. Um, you can see the, the, you know, the old floors that were kept in there. We ripped out all the windows. At the time that I took this video, there's wood windows there, single pane. So literally, we had to bring this place right back to, you know, basically nothing and rebuild it all, to, all from scratch, right? So this is the main floor of the place. Um, real quick, what, what we did is this main floor, I converted it into two bedrooms, one bathroom unit and this is the whole main floor that you're seeing here um, so keep that in mind the size of this when you see the end result of how much money i'm getting in rental rates for this place um, downstairs in the basement is a one bedroom one bath and then upstairs on the second floor in the attic is a uh, two bed one bath plus the loft or the attic right so what you're seeing there is a um, an addition onto the house that we put a kitchen in. There's the backyard, completely ripped that out. I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit here. Here are the stairs going upstairs. As you come up the stairs, guys, this is where the second attic, or sorry, the second unit is with the two bed, one bath, and the loft. So you'll see throughout the house, you know, pretty common. I, I literally just ripped everything out. Okay, so now that you guys get an idea of what exactly we did and how much we took out of this house, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this video and show you what the place looked like afterwards. Here's the exterior of the house, guys. Redid absolutely everything. Made this house look like a custom. Uh, beautiful red brick, black accents. There's that addition on the main floor that I just showed you that I told you we put the kitchen in. Um, renovated a little higher end with you know quartz countertops, nice tile backsplash, nice walk-in closet there, all brand new trim, drywall, insulation behind the walls. Like look at that washroom, guys. Just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now that I've shown you guys kind of a little bit of the before and afterward, what we did here, I'm gonna jump right into the numbers and show you guys what everybody is waiting to see. Okay, so we purchased this property for $325,000, okay? We put 20% down at the bank, which means that they gave us a mortgage of $260,000. You guys can follow along on my spreadsheet here. We took out that loan for 30 years and we got a 2.2% interest rate at, for the time being, right? Um, which means that our monthly mortgage payment while we were holding onto the property was $1,148. The renovation cost cost us about $230,000. It's actually, it was a little bit lower than that, but this was my a, original estimate. Um, 
the down payment on the property was 65,000 that we went over above. The closing costs were roughly $10,000. The holding cost on this property was $30,000. Now that's because um, insurance was high on this property for builder's insurance. The extent of the renovations that we were going through, we had to get special insurance. Um, so that increased, I mean, uh, we had to pay the mortgage and the utility costs. So everything kind of added up over time, right? So the total cash invested guys was $335,000. That was between the down payment, the closing costs, the holding costs, the renovations, all that stuff. So all in $335,000, okay? I know that sounds like a lot of money, but let's look at the end result here. So right below, you'll see that our estimated after repair value, this is not estimated. This is actually um, an appraisal that we got back just recently and the appraisal came in at $767,000. So we bought it for 325. Let me just scroll up here so you can see the whole thing. We bought it for 325 and we turned it into something that's worth $767,000. So what that did guys is that we went back to the bank and we said, okay, now that it's worth 767, um, can you loan us more money? Which is we refinanced the loan. And they said, yeah, no problem. We're going to loan you 80% of the new value. So they lent us 80% of the 767, which comes out to $613,000 and sorry, 613, 600, right? So we took that 613, 600 and we had to pay back the first mortgage, which was the 260,000 that you see at the top of the screen. And then we paid back all of our money that we put into the property. So the down payment, the closing costs, the renovations, and um, the holding costs, all our money, the $335,000, we got all that money back in our pocket and we were left with an additional $18,000 that we took out as a bonus paycheck. So not only did we get all our money back, but we got paid $18,000 to do this project. So essentially we have a free triplex that we got paid to, to get. Um, which is just incredible. And I'll show you why that's even more incredible as we continue down here. So um, just at the top right here, I'll highlight it. You'll see that the rents. So the reason why I waited to do this video is because I wanted to ensure that we actually got these rental rates and we filled the units and that it was 100% accurate before I jumped on here and started telling you guys numbers. And I just leased out the last unit in this property. So we are actually making $4,950 for the entire building or the entire property, right? That's our gross rent. And if you guys can remember that main floor here uh, that I showed you in the video, it wasn't that big. It's like 550 square feet. I'm getting $1,800 plus hydro a month. So i um, extremely excited about the rental rates that we were able to achieve. And the reason why we were able to achieve this is because the level of renovation that I did, right? When you put in quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, nice tile backsplash, and you have those nice modern finishes, people are willing to pay to live in clean, safe, modern environments. So you don't always need to buy a property in the best locations. Um, you can buy them in you know, B-class or C-class locations and renovate to attract those high-end tenants, okay? So keep that in mind, guys. A lot of people have this um, thing in their head that since they're in a lower-class neighborhood that they can only renovate to a certain standard. Well, that's not true. Um, yeah, it's absolutely not true. I just proved it right here. So if we go back to the spreadsheet, the estimated monthly rent or the real monthly rent is $49.50. Our new mortgage payment, guys, is twenty three twenty seven a month. And the reason why that's increased is because we now have a higher loan amount because we went back to the bank and now we're borrowing $613,000 compared to the original uh, $260,000. So below here, you'll see, I'll highlight it for you guys. These are, these are all our expenses. Um, just typical expenses, property tax, insurance, et cetera. I'm not going to go through them line item by line item, but you guys can take a look at them. Uh, pause the video if you would like. And really what the most important thing that we want to see down here, guys, is our cash flow. So we take our gross rents and we minus all our operating expenses, which is, you know, all the property tax, insurance, et cetera. And 
what we're left with is $1,500 plus every single month while we still put money aside for maintenance and vacancy. So if I grab my calculator here real quick, we're making $1,590 in cash flow. And if I add the vacancy of $149 plus the maintenance of $248, because this is just money that we're putting aside, we're still actually making this money. It's still going into our account as a surplus, but um, we're putting it aside for those two line items. We're actually in a positive cash flow situation of just under $2,000 a month on a free triplex that we got. So um, absolutely incredible project. The investors are extremely happy. Everybody got their money back. They still retain own equ equity ownership in this property and the deal took just over 12 months to complete. So um, extremely successful project guys. Um, I, what do you guys think? Would you guys invest in a deal like this? Um, have you guys ever done a deal like this, a successful burr, um, like a grand slam home run burr where you pull out 100% plus of your money? Let me know in the comment section below, have you done a project like this or would you do a project like this? Um, if anybody out there is interested in doing something like this, this is what I do with partners. Um, I am the active partner, the expert that knows where to find these deals, how to negotiate them, take them from A to Z and make them a successful deal like I just showed you. So if you are interested in doing something like this and you're interested in partnering, feel free to reach out to me. You can reach out to me on Instagram. Uh, my handle is Josh Doyle Invest, or I will include my email in the uh, description below, or sorry, above, actually below, and um, feel free to send me an email. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please smash that like button, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already because I've got many other projects coming up that uh, I'll be releasing videos kind of uh, before, during, and after as well. So uh, thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.